Hello, welcome back. Um, playing some um, second season football. Picked it up, been playing it a while, so enjoying it very much. So um, what I have on the table right now is the 1973 Bengals at the 1973 San Diego Chargers. It's just starting the second half. Um, the Bengals kicked off and the uh, Chargers returned it to the the 20. So you can kind of see the setup here I have. It just seems to be working pretty good, doing 100% cards and dice. I do have the uh, football, uh, I forget what it's called, but uh, the football um, a little app that comes and works really well, but uh, kind of got in a flow where I just enjoy doing the cards and dice and doing my own stats. So anyway, I just get started here. So the Chargers have the ball, as you can see, on the second or on the twenty. It's first and ten. So I'm doing the uh, auto play calling for both teams, making adjustments as I need to, uh, as I see whatever needs to what I think might be realistic. And uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. So, as usual, if anybody sees anything, I've uh, been playing quite a bit. This is the third game of the Bengals uh, 73 replay, as you can see there. They are ten and they were 10-4 and four this year. The Chargers were a lowly 2-11. and 11. Uh, So, the Bengals have won their first two games. They beat uh, Denver in... Uh, Denver, and then they beat the lowly uh, Oilers at home. And so, so far, as you can see, the Chargers, who were 2-11-1, are giving the Bengals a game. It's 10-6, to like I said, in the third quarter. Uh, Johnny Unitas started this game. Uh, this is Dan Fouts' rookie year, but this particular game, Dan Fouts. So as far as actual replays, uh, I am doing, you know, whichever quarterback actually started. So, uh but so far, Johnny Unitas is uh, doing very well. He's uh, six of uh, seven. I don't have the uh, the yards added up, but uh, the the big story for the Chargers is is they've been holding the Bengals on defense, but they've fumbled twice. Uh, Johnny Unitas fumbled once, and um, Sid Edwards fumbled, or not Sid Edwards, um, Robert Holmes fumbled once. And uh, so the scoring so far, Sid Edwards just had a 57-yard touchdown run, and the Bing and they missed the extra point. The Bengals uh, have a 31-yard field goal, and then Booby Clark, which is a great name for a running back, uh, had a one-yard run back in the first. So we go into the third again, 10 to six, Cincinnati. So hopefully uh, I won't, uh, like I normally do, lose <laughs> too many IQ points when I start this game. Uh, but uh, hopefully if I forget something, you all can remind me. But anyway, been enjoying this and thought I would put a little on the channel. Uh, been playing a lot, but again, not putting a lot on the channel, so I thought I would share this. So anyway, so I start out with a roll for the uh, play calling. So we got a one, which would be a medium. Uh, the Bengals call a pass. We got a one on the 20, which means uh, medium pass is to Levias, the uh, wide out for, um, for the Chargers. So we got a medium pass. And again, this is to uh, Jerry Levias. 16, uh, this calls for the quarterback's comp rating, and Johnny Unitas is an E, and that's going to be incomplete. So, again, he's 6 of 7 so far, so doing much better than that E would indicate. I'm using the score. I tried a couple different score sheets. I'm using the one that uh, I believe this is the one that comes with the play game, and uh, so far I like it. It's It's... You know, I like keeping pretty detailed stats, and this lets me do that. It gives me space. Uh, everything is on one page, both teams. So, so far, I'm in, enjoying that score sheet. So, we got second and ten. And this is still a normal play calling situation in my book. 
So that's a two. We didn't get a decider die, so that's going to be a short pass. The Bengals go with a safe a safe uh, defense. So we got short, safe. Uh, the, we got the 20-sided. It says five. So that's going to be to Sid Edwards. He's got a 13-yard reception so far today. That's a 15, and as we recalled, he's a knee, so that's incomplete. So the Chargers start off with two incomplete passes in a row here to start the second half. Third and 10. So this, um, I consider this a uh, probable pass uh, when it's third and long, and for me, long is 10. And again, it depends on the situation. But so that's going to be a medium pass. We got a three. They call pass an 11. That's going to be to uh, Mike Garrett out of the backfield. So we got a medium pass. That's a 31. We are in the third quarter. Is the center or the GB a pass of zero? And let's see. Uh, Carl Mock is a pass zero if he, they're out past the 50-yard line, so he's not, and he's not. So that's the quarterback runs. Uh, goes for a 12, page 12, and roll again. So that's going to be an outside run, I believe. Page 12. Okay, so Johnny Unitas is an F runner, so that doesn't bode well for him. So 16 and an F, that's going to be a five-yard loss. So I guess we consider that a run. I don't know if it's a five-yard loss. I'd say that would be a sack because he got moved out of the pocket, so I'm going to call it a sack. So we're going to roll our 20 to see what the Bengals, who gets that sack. 15, that's going to be uh, Bill Berge, the middle linebacker for the Bengals. So that's the first time the Bengals have a sack. The Chargers have two sacks. So Bill Berge for five yards gets his first sack. That's fourth down. And so the, the Colts, the Colts, the Chargers are forced to punt. Dennis Partee is their punter. So that's 63. That may not be good. Heavy punt rush results in a possible block punt. Go to the the uh, blocked punt chart on 64. So that could be bad for the Chargers. 56 is the punter's block grade and A. Uh, his block grade is actually a D. So block, blocked, deflected ahead, four-yard punt. All right, so one, two, three, so that just is, <laughs> does that count as a four-yard punt or does that count as a block punt? So I'm going to say it's blocked. I'm not going to give him a four-yard punt. So that's part T, so I'll just write that down as a block punt. That's the first block punt I've had in my replaying of this game, so that's cool. Um, so it looks like that's the only result. So he's not an A block grade. His, it's again, he's a D, so he must have got blocked some. So the Bengals with a block punt. We'll see. A block punt, no return. I count that for 15 seconds. So the Bengals will get the ball on the Charger 19. First at goal, first and 10. And they get a chance to add to this lead. So... I got this little slider here, so just to help me remember who is on offense and who's on defense, I kind of blocked the first line, so that rem reminds me to look at the right chart. So hopefully I haven't made any mistakes so far and forgotten anything. I do try to be accurate on these. I know that when you're watching these videos, uh, it bugs me when I see people make mistakes, um, but it happens. You know, your mind gets distracted and you're thinking of other things and you're not focusing as much as you do when you're playing, you know, without the camera rolling. 
But anyway, so here's the bingo play call. Two, I think we got a decider die, so that's going to be a screen safe. A screen safe, and we got an eight, so that's going to be to Isaac Curtis, white out for the Bengals. 53, we are in the third quarter, so is the G a two pass. The G is the outside linebacker, and Mike Stratton is a one, so he is not. Fingertip grab, nine-yard gain. So that's going to be second and one. Move our thing there. So Isaac Curtis with his third catch of the day. He has a 16, a 10, and a nine-yard catch. And Anderson is having a very good day. That makes him 18, 14 of 18. And again, in 1973, they didn't have the the uh, complete percentage that they have today, so that's a very very good game so far for Anderson. Uh, no interceptions. They've had to punt a few times. I'm not for exactly for sure why <laughs> we haven't scored more than ten. They don't have any turnovers. They did get sacked twice, and they've had a couple pr pretty hard penalties that hurt them. But anyway, second and one. This is still a normal play calling situation. So we got a short pass, and they've got a blitz going. Short pass 17 is going to be to Charlie Joyner, future San Diego star. So what did we get here? That's a short blitz. So that's going to be there. Short blitz out to Joyner. So let's see if Anderson can get it off. 24 in the third quarter. Is the GA and the quarterback or the quarterback two rated pass? So Anderson on pass is a one plus, which means when they're inside the opponent's 50, he is a two. So we do have that. The GA is the left guard. He's just a one. But we do have the QB, so that would be a yes. Blitz read correctly. Complete for double dice yards. That's a seven yard uh, out to... Uh, joiner so first down one two three four five six seven so that puts them on the three yard line first down so that's the bingles seventh first down passing and another completion for ken anderson again who is uh, 15 of 19 and charlie joiner gets his second catch he has an eight yard catch and a seven yard catch so the Bengals have it first and goal on the three. So we'll say this is, uh, I don't know if this would be a short yardage situation. Because again, they still could pass here. I know in Stratomatic, you can't do certain passes if you're inside the 20. I've read the, the playbook uh, a couple times, and I don't remember seeing anything that says, you know, you can't do a long pass. So. I, I assume that the percentages of that are kind of built into the game. So I'll go ahead and, you know, if somebody knows of the rules that says that you can't do a uh, pat, long pass, you know, whatever. So I'm going to say this is a normal situation. So we got a six, which is going to be an audible for the uh, chargers are in safe. So we got a two. So we got to see what the audible is. Audible three is going to be a short pass to uh, Booby Clark out of the backfield. So we got a short pass safe. So here it is to Booby Clark. First and goal. 25 is the I or the H a zero pass. So uh, Coy Bacon is actually a one. And uh, Dave Costa is a zero, so that would be uh, no complete to a secondary receiver. So we'll roll to see who that is for seven yards. Back, uh, it goes to Booby Clark anyway. So three yard pass to Booby Clark. He had um, we beat the Oilers last game, and he had uh, he had uh, two touchdowns or three touchdowns, two running and one. Um, 
one uh, receiving. So anyway, so complete pass Anderson. He gets his first touchdown. Booby Clark, who has one run rushing today, now has one receiving. So that's three yards and gives the Bengals six points. Let's see about the extra point. Uh, Horseman is a double A on this. And that's a 13, so that's going to be good. So the Bengals go up 17 to 6. I don't take any time off for the extra point. So they kicked off from the 40 back in the golden days of football. So let's see. Holman is 2 of 2 from extra points. Like I said, Ray Wershing, who uh, I remember from San, San Francisco, uh, missed an extra point. On the uh, Chargers uh, for touchdown they had. So anyway, we do our kickoff with 11.45 left in the third. So that's a 24. Horst Mullman is a C. So 24 is going to be 65. That's five yards into the end zone. The Chargers will go ahead and take that at the 20. All right, so the Chargers find themselves down by 11 now after a three-yard pass to Booby Clark. First and 10 from their 20. Uh, I like the They sent me, uh, as part of the game, they sent me this brown token, so I use that for the football, which helps me remember not to get these backward. <laughs> and then the white for the the uh, goal ten, or the uh, first-yard marker, first-down marker, I should say. All right, so Johnny Unitas, this is his last year. Five, that's going to be an inside run safe to 12. That's going to be to Mike Garrett. So we got an inside safe. Half back. That's a 15 on the inside. Mike Garrett is a C. And that's going to be for one yard. Second and nine. So that's the fourth carry for Garrett. And see, he's going to have 18 yards and four carries, looks like. Second and nine. That's another inside run and another safe. It's going to be to a 19. So inside 19, that's going to be to Clint Jones, which is going to be his first run of the day. So we got it inside to Clint Jones off the bench. 54. We're in the third quarter. Is the J a run of two? Uh, Mike Reed is a one plus. We are not over the 50, so that would be a no. Uh, is the EC rated zero run? And that would be the tight end Pettis Norman. He's a one, so that would be a no. So we got a seven yard gain. 10.30 left, third and two. So that's a seven-yard gain for Clint Jones. All right, and I forgot to do my little thing here to remember, make sure I remember who has the ball. All right, so we got third and two. So, again, that would be a normal play calling. It could be anything. So, we got a short pass, and we're calling safe. 19. Short pass 19 is going to be to Thaxton. Jimmy Thaxton is the backup tight end. So, he's in for the game. Perhaps the Chargers are in a double tight end formation. We got a short safe. And here's the play. 63 is the B, a two pass. That would be Casanova. He's a one plus. They are not past the 50, so that would be a no. Uh, is the FB a zero pass? And that's Sid Edwards, and he is a one, so that's a no. So they got Q yards, and... 
uh, the bomber rating in China United States is not the bomber, so his Q yards is 14. So 14 yard, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the 42. First down. Let's see, so United completes another one. He's 7 of 10. Let's see, that went to Thaxton. That's his first reception of the game. And that was a 14-yarder, not a 19. 14 yards. All right. First and 10 on the Bingo 42, or the uh, their own 42. That's going to be a short pass. The Bengals call pass on this one. 14 is going to be out to Mike. Let's see, 14 is Garrison. That's the uh, that's going to be the flanker. Garrison doesn't have a pass today, so we got a short pass out to Garrison. Fifty four is the K A two pass. That's going to be K is Royce Berry, and he is a two minus, and they are just barely on that side of the fifty, so he is indeed a two pass. Burst through, sack, unless the quarterback is an exclamation point. Unitas is not. Uh, Five-yard loss. One, two, three, four, five. So, another sack for the Bengals. And that one went to Royce Berry. He is the uh, left defensive end for the Bengals. Five yards. It's the second sack today of Johnny Unitas. So these, I like these ratings, how that, you know, depending on where you're at in the field. So like, uh, you know, Rice Berry, when you get into, you know, the scoring zone, he loses a little bit, you know, whereas like Mike Reed gains a little bit on the run, for example. So I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. It gives it an extra dynamic to the to the game. So anyway... So that puts it the second and 15, or no, one, two, three, four. Yeah, second and 15, because they were, right, <laughs> second and 15. All right, so here's the play call. See what the Chargers are going to do. So that's going to be an audible. We're doing a pass. So let's see if if um, Unina sees something and turns it. He does, so he turns it into an inside run. So good good play calling there by Unitas. So we got a inside run on a pass. Uh, 15 on the inside run is going to be to Robert Holmes. Again, Robert Holmes, is, uh, he's fumbled today. He's one of the two fumbles that they had. 35 is the QB, a run of zero. John Unitas is a one, so he's not. So that's going to be through for three yards. One, two, three. Three yards for Holmes. All right, so third and long. So this is a passing situation because, again, I do anything over, over 10 yards I consider passing situation. That's just how I play it. So we got a probable pass. They're going long. The Bengals are choosing pass. So that's a nine. So long nine is going to be to Levias. So we got a long pass. Long pass to Levias. Here we go. 54 is the... J, a zero pass. And so that's Mike Reed. He is a two pass. So he is not. So that's going to be on the Y chart. Unitas has a nine Y. So that doesn't bode well for <laughs> the Chargers. 26. Is he a four or more on his Y rating? And he is. That was a long pass. So that's 41 yards deep to the strong safety, Neil Craig. 10. 20, 30, 41. So that's uh, incomplete in the first interception. 
So the interception, Neil Craig is first, and we'll see if what the return on that will be. Again, we roll to 26. Oh, to the C, yep. So we got our interception return. See if he returns it. 56, that could be bad. <clears throat> so he is an A, B, or C, D player. Long return. Go to page 66. That's right there. So, Ooh, 56. So on a... That's an interception return. Drag down after a dazzling 55 plus 2. 57-yard return. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How about that? 55-yard return. Big turnover there. 55 yards on that return. And the Bengals have it first and 10 on the Chargers' 24-yard line. So, exciting. So that's the first interception of the game for either team. Neil Craig takes it back for 55 yards, and the Bengals are threatening again. So, again... With the Bengals 10-4 and four and the Chargers 2-11, and 11, you just expect a bit more of a blowout, but looks like they're starting to um, put some space between them here and see if they can capitalize on that Johnny United interception. That's an audible on a blitz. So let's see. So they call a medium pass and on the blitz. So that could be exciting. we got a 14 that's going to be to Essex Johnson out of the backfield. So we've got a medium on a blitz. So let's see if the Chargers pressure can get to Anderson. 41 on a th in the third quarter is the EA a two pass. That would be uh, Isaac Curtis, and he is indeed a two pass. Go to the XM chart. 22 is the quarterback's X rating greater than four. It is his is five. So that would be a yes. That's uh, to the go chart 31. This probably doesn't matter because that's 24 yards. So 24 yard touchdown. All right. So Anderson connects for another one. His second touchdown. And we decided that was to Essex Johnson out of the backfield for 24 yards. How about that? So let's see. I don't have Essex Johnson on the. It's his first catch of the day. 24 yards. Circle that because it was a touchdown. Give the Bengals six. Right, so go for the extra point here. First Allman again is a double A on that. So that's a 46. Oh, go to the unusual chart play. That's not good. That He's missed one this year from that. So the unusual chart. That's a 42 on a kick. Place kick. Uh, 44 yards is good. So that's good, but there's a penalty. So let's go to the penalty chart. On a kick play, 55 is a 5C. That's a 5C. I don't see a 5C. <laughs> There's a 5. Okay, so let's see. 55, that's a kick play. 5C. There's a 5A and a 5B, but there's not a 5C. So I'm wondering if that's a typo or if I'm missing something. Well, there is no 5C. There's an A and a B, but no C. So I'm going to say it's good. He's a double A, so <laughs> we're going to go with that. All right, so he's 3 of 3 for extra points. I don't take any time off for that. So the Bengals will kick off up 24 to 6. So this has turned into a blowout pretty quick <laughs> as the Bengals have scored two touchdowns uh, in the first four minutes. Uh, actually, the first what? 
first seven minutes of the third quarter. All right, so we'll kick off here. So that's a 16, and that's going to be seven yards deep. So the Chargers will take that at the 20. So no return. Eight minutes left in the third quarter. And the Chargers will see if Johnny Unitas and company can get something going. So they did get me some helmets because everybody who plays these games on YouTube has to have the helmets. It's just the law. Uh, I would love, love to have found, you know, one with the Bengals and their old helmets. Uh, but this is what I got. So I imagine if it was something like that, it'd be pretty expensive. So, um the, uh, the the pack I got did have the old Redskins and have the old Dolphins, so that's good. Uh, I don't have the Oilers. Um, the Patriots is are different. The Broncos are different. So, but anyway, take what you can get. If anybody knows where I can get an old Bengals helmet that size, that would be cool. All right, so the Chargers, seeing if see if they can get something going here. Four is an outside run, and they're doing a blitz. So that could be well if they can get around the blitzers. So an outside 15, that's going to be to Robert Holmes. So we got an outside on a blitz. 56, and we're in the third quarter. They are the home team. So that's going to be an XR gain. So the home team advantage or hope field advantage kicks in. 16 is the J a two run. The J is defensive tackle. Mike Reed, he's a one plus. They're not across the thing, so he is not. So that's a seven yard gain. So nice run there for Holmes. Second and three. They're doing an inside run blitz again. So the inside three, that's going to be to Sid Edwards. So an inside on the blitz to Sid Edwards. That's a 45. Is uh, Third quarter is the QB a run of zero. Johnny Unitas is not. So that's going to be an XR column. 34. Is the G a two against the run? So that's going to be Al Bocamp, the outside linebacker, and he is not. So that's going to be slips from the linebacker's grass. Nine more yards. So first down for the Chargers. Nine yards for Edwards. And that's their first running first down. They have just three first downs this game. Again, those turnovers have hurt them. They've got two fumbles and an interception, but they have first and 10 on their 36. See if they can get something going here in the third quarter. So we got another in, uh, inside run, but the Bengals think pass. So inside 18, that's going to be to Clint Jones, who has a seven-yard run today. So we've got inside pass, Clint Jones. 44 is the TB a run of two. The TB is the right outside tackle. He is a run of one. So that would be a no. One yard run for Jones. Second nine. So that's his second run for eight yards total. Second nine. Here's the call. Oh, that's a medium pass. The Bengals are going safe. Medium pass seven is going to be to Edwards. Sid Edwards out of the backfield. So medium pass. And we did safe. Medium safe. He's right there. Edwards out of the backfield. It's a 36. Okay, is the... GB, a pass of zero. That's the right guard, and he is a one, so that is a no. Dumps it off to the running back for nine yards, so that's going to be enough for a first down. So another completion for Unitas. 
That's a pass to Edwards. That's his second catch today. He has a 13 and a 9-yarder. First and 10. And, be, and that's their third passing first down. All right. So the Chargers are getting a drive going here. See if they can keep this from becoming a, a runaway. We got a 2 with a dot. That's a screen. We guess pass. 15 is going to be to Garrison, who is the flanker. So we got a screen, and we guessed a pass. So out to Garrison, the flanker. 1-2. Again, Unitas is an E, and that's going to be for one dice yards. And he gets two. One, two. So second and eight. Two yards out to Garrison. That's his first catch of the day. Second and eight. 5.30 left in the third quarter. Bengals up 24 to 6. Okay, we got an audible and a blitz. So let's see if Unitas picks it up again here. And he gets a two. So they're going medium. So he may not have picked up the blitz. So we got a medium 16. That's out to Norman. Norman, who is Norman? I gotta find Norman. Oh, okay. Norman is actually the starting tied in. He didn't get much pass, many passes. He's in parentheses, but he's gonna get this one. So Pettis Norman tied in. And we got a medium on a blitz. So let's see if they can beat the Bengals blitz here. 43, that's the QB. Is he a pass rated of two? He is not. He's just a one. Pass thrown too high, incomplete, exclamation point. So that's if the receiver has an exclamation point. Uh, Norman does not, so that's incomplete. Third and nine. So just over his head. Third and, not, or third and eight, actually. So... Normally, I, I consider this a uh, normal play calling situation, but with them down by this much, I'm going to say that they're, we're going to call up. This is going to be a probable pass. So, again, kind of just it as you see fit. So, on a probable, that's still going to be an audible. The Bengals choose pass. So, let's see if they move it to a run. And they are throwing a screen. So, we got a screen. Out to six. That's going to be Sid Edwards out of the backfield. So we got a screen pass to Edwards out of the backfield. 22. We got an E incomplete. So Johnny Unitas not able to move the Chargers forward again. So he misses that one. That makes him 9 of 15. And the Chargers are forced to punt. Still a little early to give up hope yet, so and to go for it there, especially when you're fourth and eight. All right, so we got a punt here. 21, so that should be a pretty good punt. No pressure on, on the rush to determine at six yards to the average grade. So he's a 42, so that's going to be a 48-yard punt. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 48-yard punt for Part T. Of course, as you recall, his last punt was blocked. And so that's going to be the 14 punt return. That's going to be to Tommy Casanova. Uh, Casanova already has an 8-yard return. So Casanova with the return. 41. Subtract 1 from his return grade. Casanova is an 8, so that's a 7-yard return. So he gets it out to the 11. So good field or good job by the Chargers there. And what did we say? That was a 7-yarder, right? Yep. So 7 yards for Casanova. All right. Bengals have it. First and 10 from their 11. 4.30 left in the third. That's going to be a medium, and they're guessing run. 
A 15 is going to be out Essex Johnson now the backfield again. So we've got a medium run. So they guess wrong. See if they can connect with Essex Johnson. 53. E is the E a two pass. So e is outside linebacker Rich Redmond, and he's a zero, so that's not good. Open in the flat, complete, except there's a question mark. And Essex Johnson does not have the question mark. And Anderson doesn't have the question mark for R yards. Uh, Essex Johnson's R is 13. So 13 yard reception. 12, 13, first down. So the Bengals have yet another first down passing, which is eight. And Anderson is having a great day. Essex Johnson has his second completion. Because he had that 24-yarder for a touchdown on his first one. First and 10. Six. So that's an audible. They're calling safe. The audible for the Bengals is a two. So they're going medium again. Medium 20. So that's going to be to Morrison. Reese Morrison. Back up. Um, back up uh, running back. So how about that? Trying something crazy here. Ooh. Bengals fall over. So we got a medium uh, safe. Medium safe. We got a 63. Uh, is the H a zero pass? He is a one. So that would be a no. Pass tipped. Go to the Y chart. That could be trouble. Anderson's uh, Y grade is four. And. The Chargers don't add any to it. So that's 54. So that should be safe. Is he 10 or more? He is not. Defender and receiver struggle for the ball and complete. So second and 10. All right. Second and 10. Two. So that's going to be a short pass. They guess safe. Short pass is out to Trumpy. The tight end, Bob Trumpy. So we got a short safe. Short safe. Bob Trumpy has uh, he has four catches today. That's a 55. That's the unusual results. 66. Oh, boy. A five-yard loss, a fumble at the line. So on this one, that's a short pass. So that had to be a sack, a five-yard loss, but a possible fumble. So let's see. I'm going to say that's Anderson with a sack, and then we'll roll for a sack here in a minute. But let's see about the fumble. So that's a fumble at the line. Okay. 65, the ball carrier or receiver fumbles the ball out of bounds. The offense retains possession. So I'm going to say that Anderson was running out of the pocket and gets sacked for five yards, fumbles it, and the ball goes out of bounds. So one, two, three, four, five. Take off our time. Third, we'll call that another sack. And then we'll roll to see who got that for the Chargers. 17, that's going to be Bacon. Uh, Coy Bacon, and that's his second his second sack today. The third for the Chargers. So the Bengals have it third and long. And so we'll say this is a pass situation. Six. So that's an audible. They call a pass. So let's see if they change it here. Five. So they're going to call an outside run. So how about that? Not wanting to chance it. Anderson... Sees danger and decides to call the outside run. Uh, 10 is going to be to Essex Johnson. So we got an outside run on the pass to Essex Johnson. 43. Uh, this is the QB a run of zero. He is not. Nice executed play. 11 yards. 10, 11. But not enough for the first down. But good play calling there. Essex Johnson gets an 11-yard gain, and the Bengals are forced to punt with 2.45 left in the quarter. So as you can see, this game does take a while. Um, 
I don't mind because football, you only play anywhere from 12 to 17 games. It's not like baseball where you have 154 or 162 to play. And so I don't mind a game taking two or three hours because there's only 14 games. So, uh, it, But once you get going and you get a pretty good rhythm, uh, it's not bad at all. It flows, you know, flows pretty well. It's probably taking me, you know, when I'm by myself, you know, probably two to three hours to play a game. You know, so I just leave it on the table, play and come back and do a quarter. And it's kind of exciting because, you know, you remember where you picked off. And uh, again, you know, there's 14 games in 1973. I'm already on my third game. So, you know, it's not bad at all. You know, again, if it took two to three hours to play a baseball game, that would be a problem for me anyway. All right. So the Bengals are going to punt it away. Their punter is Dave Lewis. He gets a 31. Is his return grade an A or a B? It is not. It's a C. So at 7 yards, 65 for a return. So that's a 48-yard punt. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 48-yard punt. He rolled a 16. So that's going to be Ron Smith for the return. 42, subtract 1 from his return and edged out of bounds. So Ron Smith's return is a 10. He scores a touchdown on any punt return over 30. So we lose one, so that's a 9-yard return. Uh, so that will be to the Bengals or to the Charger 31. And I count that as two ticks. First down, 9 yards on the return for Smith. That's his third return. And the Chargers have it, first and 10 on the 31, with 2.15 left in the third quarter. All right, so the Chargers with the ball. Johnny Unitas, seeing what he can do. He played the whole game in this one, so uh, we're going to stick with him. Again, he's not doing bad. He has that one interception, but other than that, he's 9 for 15. So for 73 standards, that's not bad at all. So they're going to medium. The Bengals are calling a safe. A medium six is two Edwards out of the backfield. So a medium safe to Edwards. That's a 15, and that's going to hurt him with that E, and that's incomplete. 